What is up, family? It's the Budget Base Head. Welcome back to the channel. Right now, what you guys see on the screen are three different drivers. All these drivers are by Tang Band, and they were sent over to me by Parts Express to assist with a three way bill. What you see on the screen is a tweeter, a mid bass driver, and a woofer. First up is going to be the tweeter. This little guy is actually uh, from Tang Band's W2 lineup. This is the W2803SM. It is a two inch extended range speaker. Have a power handling of eight watts with a max of 16 watts. This is a four ohm driver. It have a frequency response, believe it or not, of 160 to 20,000 Hertz. This will be my solution for my highs. And I'm really excited about this little guy. If you look in the center cap of that, you will see that it does come with a solid aluminum phase plug. It has a shielded neodymium motor. And it actually got venting under the spider. This little guy actually got a X max of one millimeter, believe it or not. This little bitty guy right here. Sensitivity is 85 dB with the BL of 2.69. If you guys want to learn a little bit more about that, just hop on over to Parts Express, do a search for the W2803SM, and you guys can check that little guy out. But for right now, what I would like to do is move onward to my mid base solution. My, my mid-bass solution is also going to be by Tang Band. This is the W82096. It is an 8-inch driver. This guy actually features a 1-inch top plate and a very beefy magnet. Coming in at over 15 pounds, this thing is a monster. It has a frequency response, get this, of 35 to 6,000 Hertz. So I gotta kinda ask myself, is this more of a subwoofer than it is a mid bass driver? But with capabilities of up to 6,000 Hertz, definitely in the mid bass range. It's a four ohm speaker. Like mentioned before, it's eight ohms. There's a shot at the lead. Little bit of the badging right there. It has a two inch voice coil, frequency response of 35 hertz. Maximum linear excursion, or what is considered an X max, would be 8.5 millimeters. Plenty of throw for this little guy. There's a look at the spider right there. Another look at that beefy magnet on it. Very well constructed to say that this only has an RMS rating of 80 watts. But this is going to be my mid bass solution. But for right now, what I would like to do is give you guys a shot at my full bass solution, all my low range stuff. Not my full bass, I'm sorry, my sub bass solution which is actually gonna be this guy right here. This is also by Tang Band, and this is also part of that W8 lineup. This is the W81363SB. It's also an eight inch subwoofer, but it has an RMS rating double that of uh, the previous woofer in the, uh, in the video. The mid bass solution has a RMS rating of 80 watts. This one here has a RMS rating of 150 watts. There's a shot at the neodymium magnet. A little bit of the badging there. If you notice, look at the leads on this. The terminal is only a single terminal on each side. When I first seen this, I thought I had a defected product or maybe a uh, display model. But come to find out, from my experience, sometimes companies will do this when they take a previously dual voice coil subwoofer and actually 
they will internally wire it in series and give you a lead on e on either side of the basket. They would only use one lead. Either that, or sometimes companies would actually utilize the same basket for multiple drivers. This guy right here has a frequency response of 30 hertz, DC resistance of 3.2 ohms. Of course, it is a four ohm driver. Single, single voice call, as you guys just seen. It has an X max of 12 millimeters and a, and a QTS rating of 0.29. Very friendly to ported enclosures. Very, very friendly to ported enclosures. This is going to be my sub bass frequencies in the three way tower build that I got coming up for you guys. guys are running about the sensitivity it is a sensitivity of 84 dbs you're gonna need a little bit of power to push this guy especially with a, uh, a cms of 0.28 millimeters per newton anyway that's enough for right now what i would like to draw you guys attention to is the three-way building I'm actually building for this guy is going to be a tower build. It's going to stand approximately four feet tall. And I'm going to give you guys a shot at it right quick. This is the actual tower build that I have constructed or planned for this guy. There's another angle at it right there. This is going to be my sub frequencies. This is gonna be my mid frequency chamber. And of course up here is gonna be my highs. Now keep in mind that this is actually a full range driver. So it's open back, it's not, it's not just a tweeter as it would appear. Right here I'm giving you guys a shot of my chambers. The mid base solution is gonna be a sealed chamber. And it will have an F3 of 72 hertz. If you guys will pay attention down here, the bottom chamber is actually a six order base reflex that I have built for the W8 subwoofer. If you guys will take a look at the angles here. And it is ported down here. To give you a better view of it, I'll take you over here to the planning phases. This is an aerial view of it. This is the seal chamber again. Like I said previously with an F3 of 72 Hertz. The first chamber right here, where the speaker or the woofer actually loads into is a 30 Hertz chamber. It ports into, I'm sorry, is a 30 hertz chamber. It actually ports over here into the 60 hertz chamber. And X is here. I will later on in a later video give you guys a graph of this to let you see the frequency response of it in a digital uh, setup. But for right now, I wanna actually go in here and show you guys a little tweeter housing over here. Very small, doesn't need a whole lot. But it's gonna be sealed as well. I want to make this as tight as, as possible. And it has an S3 of uh, 260 Hertz. And keep in mind this thing actually have an FS, the tweeter does, has an FS of 160 Hertz. So keep in mind that that is not a just a tweet. I keep calling it a tweeter, but it's actually a, a full range driver. Okay. But enough of that. I just kind of like wanted to share that with you guys to kind of let you know that I have been working on some projects. This is not the only project that I've been working on. I just wanted to bring you guys up to speed with at least one of the projects to kind of let you know I ain't forgot about you. I ain't sleeping on you. I ain't being lazy. I'm just busy <laughs> and haven't had time to really just sit down at the computer 
and make a video. So I prioritized you guys this evening and I said, well, let me let me send this out to them to let them see exactly what it is that I've been doing. As a matter of speaking, I have some really, really, really good stuff. I, I can't give it away. If I give it away, I'm afraid the ideal is going to get out there and somebody else is going to steal it. So I think I'm going to be the first to do what it is that I'm trying to, that I have in mind on YouTube. I may not be the first. I don't know. I haven't seen any videos of what I, what I got in store for you guys on a future project other than, other than this project right here. So just keep that in mind that I have been busy <laughs> and I have been trying to give you guys some, some extra content. So just bear with me and I got some things coming for you guys. As a matter of fact, as a matter of speaking, I got some demos coming to this guy right here. You know, it's like this speaker right here, to be honest with you, is one of the best performance speakers that I've seen in a long time as far as like an 8 inch drive. 